My name is Natasha Chevy. I am 23 years old and I am currently seeking representation. So I am doing a monologue called Crazy Glue. So what it is, this girl, she's trying to fix something and she crazy glues her hand to her cheek and she calls her friend for help because she is desperate. And um, if you want to know a little bit about me, here's just a tiny bit of it. Um, I am a funny and a loving person. I try to make things lighthearted because I want to make people laugh, make people have a good time because the world needs more happiness in the world and I'm okay to embarrass myself because honestly as long as it makes people laugh happy whether it's cringy like this dance or not I'm, I'm all up for it. I'm up for everything to make people stay better. Yeah so that's a little bit about me if you would like to know more about me. Um, my email is in the description down below, so I'd like to get to know you, so you get to know me, and you get to know more of my range. Right now, this is a comedy monologue. If you would like to know more and see me do a dramatic or sad or action-y, don't know what this is, <laughs> thing, please let me know. I'd uh, like to work with you and see how things go. Alright, so I hope you enjoy, whether it be cringy or not. I hope it's not, but I hope you like it. Alright. Thanks. So here we go. And action. I really hope you pick up. It's not like you're doing anything. You don't really do it. Hi, Allison. It's Linda. I, um, uh, I glue my hand to my cheek. Yeah. I, I tried every product I could think of and I crazy glued myself to myself. Yeah. Hold on. So let me tell you what happened, okay? You remember the chair that my Aunt Fran's sat in? You know, the one she broke with the fat ass? The wooden one, right? Yeah. My grandmother gave me that chair and I wanted, I love that chair. So I wanted to fix it, but the wood glue wasn't working. So I thought, why not use crazy glue? So I'm lying down underneath it and I notice these cracks, these small cracks. And I think, why not just glue the whole bottom of it to make it stronger, make it last longer, right? right? <laughs> but then the chair came apart and then the thing came out my face and I put my hand on my chair to protect myself and then my hand got stuck to my cheek and it just, it just all happened so fast, I swear. Like, what am I gonna do, okay? I'm walking around the house like a complete ass, and I have tried everything, okay? I have tried soap, detergent, pine salt, pledge, vodka, toilet bowl cleaner, Febreze, and God knows what else, and my face just, wow, just swollen. And every time I try to pull my hand off my cheek, it just feels like the skin wants to come off, okay? And just, of course. My eye, my eye is tearing and my vision's going blurry, so now I'm walking around with one eye and one arm, okay? What am I gonna do? Hello? Allison, did you hide me? Are you there? <laughs> really? Really? You're gonna laugh at me? You're laughing at me? I might be going blind and you're laughing at me? <laughs> okay. I get it, I get it. If I were you, I'd be laughing too. But can we laugh about it later? Because right now, I want to get my hand off my face, okay? I, I'm afraid I'm going to have a permanent hand imprint on my face like I've been bitch at for life. And I'm too embarrassed to go out in public or call a hardware store and ask for help. So do you think? I think maybe you can call for me or come over, please. I'm just in plastic relation with my arm, man. Do you think, you think maybe you could come? You can? Thank heavens and wow, um, Linda, do you think? I think maybe you can hurry up. I'm feeling a little bit fine. And see.